Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today we're looking at the brand new M4 build that is now the lowest recoil M4 that you can build in the entire game with 20 recoil which beats out the old Saker suppressed 23 recoil version. By the way, I do stream on Twitch and YouTube so come over to ask any questions live. So in short, there is a new muzzle break that has been added to the game. I don't actually know when, because it seems to have just appeared one day, called the AR-15 Alien Tech 556x45 muzzle break, which is find in raid only. Thanks to Ida in my Discord for pointing this one out to me. And the first thing to notice here is that there is no suppressor slot on the break at all, which is kind of surprising because it's normally required to have both a break and a suppressor working in tandem to get to the lowest levels of recoil for an M4. But this one is compatible with the jailbreak that fits to the two SAI handguards, which kind of does the same job. The existing minimum recoil build for the jailbreak currently has 26 recoils, so it's no slouch, but the muzzle that it uses, the Bulletek, which was the best historically as a standalone, the Alien Tech completely blows out of the water with 19% recoil versus the Bulletek's 14. A jump of 5% recoil reduction is absolutely huge for Tarkov modding, as it's equivalent to many mods on their own, like a foregrip or a whole handguard. This in fact makes the Alien Tech break competitive with some of the suppressor combos by itself. A mid-range combo like the Knight's Armament Compensator and the NT4 Suppressor, i.e. the one that you get on the SOP mod version, are 18% recoil combined, and even the Saker itself is 23% as a pair, so it's really not that far away from the best possible. For other 5.56 weapons, you are still normally going to be better off suppressed, but for the M4, because the Jailbreak is compatible with those two SAI handguards and it provides 8% recoil as well, we get now to 27% recoil reduction total with the Alien Tech. This is 4% more reduction than the Saker, which is now the second best combination. If we use this with the other lowest recoil parts for this configuration, i.e. the Ultor Upper, the 406mm barrel, as the jailbreak can't go on the two longer ones and this one gives you slightly better recoil reduction than the 370mm, the Advanced Buffer Tube, the PRS Gen 3 stock, the SAI 14.5 inch handguard, which is the better of the two, the RK2 foregrip, the JP Enterprises 5B gas system, the jailbreak and the Alien Tech break inside of that, we get to 20 recoil overall. The other attachments are just ergo based, like the growl grip, the raptor charging handle and various iron sights and cantilever mounts, but you can cap this thing out at 67 ergonomics without a scope or a magazine. Metifying this a bit and you can get it to 65 ergo with 23 recoil along with a drum mag and a voodoo, which is pretty insane. So this got me wondering, how close is this build to the old bugged Thor build? For those that didn't know, recently you were able to use the jailbreak at the same time as the Thor muzzle and suppressor combo, i.e. the PSR 556 muzzle break with the Thor PSR XL multi-caliber over the top, which I believe came to 18 recoil total. This wasn't supposed to happen because you aren't allowed to use suppressors with the jailbreak attachment, at least in theory, but because the Thor was a new suppressor, the dependency hadn't been added on its introduction. This has since been patched now though, but you can probably imagine that combining a muzzle and a suppressor and then the jailbreak with 8% on top came to something crazy. This was patched out and blocked off before the 15% recoil buff came in the other day, so we didn't quite get to see it in its full glory. However, if you had the weapon in a preset, you can still see it in game, even though it doesn't let you actually put it together anymore. The only unfortunate thing here is that I saved it accidentally with a 370mm barrel which has 3% recoil reduction and comes to 17 recoil. Using the 406mm barrel instead with its 4% recoil reduction should have taken the build to 15 in the new model, but you can't even get the thought to fit on in the preset builder anymore so I can't see it directly and I can't swap the barrels now. Anyway, with the new lowest recoil build being 20 or min max with all the stuff on it at 23 as we saw before, the one thing to be aware of is that the jailbreak builds are pretty gassy in general which can make it hard to see when you shoot. Comparing the Saker version against the Alien Tech you will be able to clearly see the difference and this has been a problem with the best loud builds for the M4 for a very long time. To compete with the suppressors you have to deal with the muzzle flash and the target obstruction that comes with the jailbreak. Because of this ultimately I don't think we'll suddenly see a massive resurgence in loud M4 meta builds but at least it's possible to build something that competes somewhat with the suppressed ones. So next up go and check out my video on the 15% recoil buff that was applied across every weapon in the game about a week ago. Otherwise, as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons. Hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have fun in your raids.